Okay, welcome everybody to today's burning question. It is from my confirmation class who are ninth grade girls, and so I think it's a very relevant question. It's how and when is a God-honoring way to start dating, and are we too young? So today I have Caroline Owens, who is a recent college graduate. Thank you for joining me. She has her own social media and a whole podcast called She Believes that's just wonderful, so tune in if you can. But Caroline, how would you answer that question for these high school girls and even for some college girls or, or boys? Yeah, this is a great question. I love it because in high school, my parents never had like a hard and fast rule of you can't start dating until you're 16. I feel like that's kind of a typical one. Mm -hmm. um, but they always really encouraged us to begin getting to know men in groups. And so I would really recommend that. I think that worked really great for me. So instead of saying like, you can't date until you're 16 because hey, when you're 16, you may not be ready yet. Um, so I think first and foremost, kind of taking high school and even college to really first define who are you, what do you want in a relationship, what makes you happy, um, what is your relationship like with God, making sure all of the foundation of yourself is kind of set before you're looking at dating. So I would recommend that you get to know boys in groups and then even in college that if you're asked out on a date, I think one of the best advice that I've ever been given is say yes to the first date. Um, so even in high school, like if that's, if you get asked out on prom or homecoming, like totally okay, I think to go um, and be respectful, but also recognize like it's good to set boundaries. You date to marry. And so when you're in high school, you're not exactly ready to marry yet. So take it slow, get to know people, see what is out there that you like and that makes you feel comfortable. And also just be confident, recognize that you don't need anyone to completely complete you, that your relationship with God first and foremost is the most important thing, but that you want to look for someone that's going to compliment you. I think that's a great words of advice. Thank you so much, Caroline. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Karen. All right. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.